Hello, my name is Mr. James, and welcome to my World History Class YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about an interesting figure, Henry IV. Now, Henry IV was the first Bourbon monarchy of France. Uh, one thing that was going on during this time was there were a lot of religious wars between the Catholics and Protestants. Henry, he was born and uh, baptized into the Catholic faith. However, after he grew up, he decided to convert and become a Protestant. And on the day of his marriage, he was even a Protestant, even though his wife-to-be was Catholic. Now, the wedding took place in Paris in 1572, and there were a lot of influential Protestants that were join, joining the wedding ceremony. And there were some Catholics that decided this was going to be the perfect opportunity to take care of these Protestants. And some of them were, many of them were killed during this wedding. And this became known as the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. Now, one interesting point about this massacre is that Henry was almost killed himself. However, at the urging and protection of his wife and the promise to convert back to Catholicism, Henry survived. However, he did not convert right away. He eventually became the king of France. And then at that time, he decided to convert back to Catholicism. The reason why? Well, he said that Paris is well worth the mass. Now, eventually, Henry, he died. He was killed by a fanatical a uh, religious fanatical person that jumped in his carriage and stabbed him. And after his death, something interesting happened. His, his embalmed head disappeared. Yes, the head was gone for years and years and years. And no one knew where it went. But eventually, that head was found. You know where it was found? It was found in the attic of a retired tax collector. And eventually, the head was returned um, back and you know as Nelson Mandela used to say a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination so uh, thank you for joining me today for this interesting historical fact and we'll see you next time